What is false work in construction? If you're curious about the temporary structures that help build some of the most impressive and complex constructions, you're in the right place. Let's break down what false work is and how it works. False work is essentially a temporary structure used to support a permanent structure while it's being built. This temporary support is crucial until the permanent structure can bear its own weight. Imagine it like scaffolding, but it's not just for giving workers access. It's also for holding up the actual building components. There are several types of false work, each serving a different purpose. Shoring, for example, involves using temporary supports to hold a structure in place while concrete or other structural elements are installed. This is often used in building bridges, high-rise buildings, and tunnels. Formwork is another type, which is the mold or framework used to shape poured concrete until it hardens. This is vital for ensuring the concrete sets properly and maintains the desired shape. Scaffolding is also a form of false work, but it's more about providing access to elevated areas of a construction site. It supports workers and materials during the building or maintenance of high-rise buildings, bridges, and industrial plants. Then there are props, which are temporary supports that hold up horizontal or vertical elements like beams or walls during construction. The materials used for false work can vary, but common ones include steel, wood, and sometimes aluminum. In bridge construction, false work has to be particularly robust to handle the weight of the structure. For high-rise buildings, false work supports columns, slabs, and beams until the concrete hardens. In tunnel construction, false work helps stabilize the ground and prevent collapse while the permanent tunnel structure is built. False work is also essential in concrete slab construction, where it holds the forms in place while the concrete is poured and sets. For dams and water retaining structures, extensive temporary frameworks are needed to support the large amounts of concrete used. When designing and using false work, several key considerations come into play. The load-bearing capacity is critical. The false work must be able to handle the weight of all materials, equipment, and workers involved. Stability is another key factor, influenced by sole conditions, weather, and the design of the permanent structure. Safety is paramount, with features like guardrails, non-slip surfaces, and properly secured platforms being essential. The construction of false work involves several steps. Metal workers fabricate sections from pipes and beams, which are then lifted into position with large machinery and guided by a ground crew. Once in place, the false work is secured to prevent any shifting or collapsing. False work has been around for a long time, with the Romans using it extensively in bridge and viaduct construction. Over the years, materials and techniques have evolved with modern systems including adjustable steel props and reusable timber beams. In summary, false work is a vital component in construction, providing the necessary temporary support to ensure that permanent structures can be built safely and efficiently. Its various types and careful design make it an indispensable tool in the construction industry.